How to design this crate in FreeCAD 1.0. Create a sketch in the Part Design Workbench. Then select the XZ plane to sketch on. Click this button to start sketching a polyline. Click on this axis to start sketching there. Each time you click, a new line appears. To close the loop, click on the starting point. You can right-click twice to exit the Polyline tool. Now select the Dimension tool. Click this vertical line and drag the mouse. Click again, enter a dimension, and click OK. Now do the same for this horizontal line. Scroll to zoom and fit the sketch to the screen. Click on these two lines. And click this button to make them equal. Select these two vertices. And then this axis. Click this button to make the vertices symmetrical. Select the Dimension tool. Click the sloping line, but add a vertical dimension. Then add a horizontal dimension to this line. Click, hold, and drag vertices to organize lines. Now make these two vertices symmetrical. and also these two upper vertices. Select the Dimension tool again. And click these two lines. Drag and add an angle to these lines. All lines are fully constrained, so you can exit. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. You can export 3D models directly to their website with this macro. Then select how it should be manufactured and configure your project details. Finally, preview your 3D model and submit your manufacturing request. So the sketch is finished. Click the pad button to extrude it. Enter a length and check this box. The box means it will be extruded in two directions. Click OK to apply. Now select these four edges while holding the caudal key. And select the fillet tool. Enter a fillet radius here. Click OK to apply. Hold the control key and select these edges. Select the fillet tool again. Enter a fillet radius and click OK. Hold the control key and select all top faces. Then select the thickness tool. Enter a thickness and click OK. Click on the inner bottom face and select Chamfer. Enter a size and click OK. Click on the outer bottom face and select Chamfer. Enter a size and click OK. The base of the shape has been completed. Click this eye icon to show the origin planes. Select this plane. Then create a new sketch. Hide the planes again. 
click the eye icon next to this feature to hide it. Select the rectangle tool. Click drag and click again. Make these horizontal vertices symmetrical. Then select the dimension tool. Add a dimension to this horizontal line. And also to this vertical line. Click on this vertex to add a distance from the axis. Click again to add the distance. Show the model again to see how it's positioned. Click Close to exit the sketch. Select Pocket to cut the sketch out. Select Through All. Check Reversed to cut it on the other side. Click OK to apply. Consider subscribing if you like my content. Thanks. Hold the Control key and select these inner edges. Select the Fillet tool. Enter a radius and click OK. Now select the last two features and click on the Mirror tool. Choose Select Reference and click on this plane. The fillets are not mirrored. Drag it below the pocket to mirror them too. The order here is important when mirroring features. Click OK to apply. Did you manage to model the crate? You might want to check out my 3D printing channel for more tutorials and projects.